Why Europe feels warmer than it should Here's a fun fact. Europe is way further north than most of us realize. If you start in London and travel directly east, you'll pass through places like Kazakhstan, Siberia, and Mongolia. Eventually, you'd hit the Kamchatka Peninsula. Now here's the kicker. While London is no tropical paradise, it's not buried in snow and ice for half the year like, say, Siberia or northern Canada. So, what's the secret to Europe's relatively mild winters? Enter the Gulf Stream, Europe's climate hero. The Gulf Stream is Europe's not-so-secret weapon against brutal winters. Picture it as a massive, high-speed ocean current on a mission. Starting in the Gulf of Mexico, it races through the Atlantic, carrying warm water northeast toward Iceland, the UK, and the rest of Europe. Think of it like a giant conveyor belt of heat, delivering a cozy buffer against freezing temperatures. But it doesn't stop there. The Gulf Stream is part of a much bigger system called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, or AMOC if you're into catchy acronyms. This system keeps warm, tropical water moving north and mixes it with the colder waters of the North Atlantic. That warm water heats the air above it, which then drifts over to Europe. The result? A climate much milder than you'd expect for a region so far north. Compare London to cities like Calgary or Moscow, which are at similar latitudes. While they freeze under layers of snow, Londoners are grumbling about a bit of drizzle. It's not just the UK that benefits. Scandinavia, Germany, and even parts of France all enjoy temperate winters that make life a little easier. Without the Gulf Stream, these regions would be dealing with weather that's a lot more Siberia and a lot less European charm. The Gulf Stream doesn't just keep Europe warm, it also keeps it fed. Thanks to the temperate climate it creates, Europe's growing season is longer and more productive. Countries like France and Germany thrive on this extended season, producing everything from wine to wheat. And then there's the rainfall. The Gulf Stream's influence doesn't just stop with temperature. It also helps shape Europe's weather patterns. More moisture in the air means more rain, which translates to fertile soil. Just look at the Netherlands, famous for its tulips, vegetables, and dairy farms. Without the Gulf Stream's magic touch, that fertile land could be a very different story. Let's take a moment to appreciate the Gulf Stream. This mighty ocean current isn't just a conveyor belt of warm water. It's a lifeline for Europe. It moderates the climate, keeps winters bearable, and supports agriculture and marine life. But what if it stopped? Spoiler alert! The consequences would be catastrophic. Welcome to a new ice age. Sort of. If the Gulf Stream shut down, Europe would trade its relatively mild winters for a bone-chilling experience straight out of Siberia. Northern Europe, in particular, would endure winters more like those in Canada or Russia. Forget about the drizzle and grey skies of London. Think heavy snowfalls, sub-zero temperatures and icy winds. This would mark a dramatic shift from Europe's current maritime climate to a continental one, where seasonal temperature swings are extreme. Summers could still be warm, but winters, brutal. Scandinavia, Germany, and even parts of the UK would freeze under relentless cold spells. Colder winters mean higher energy demands. Countries like the UK, Germany, and the Nordic nations, which rely on the Gulf Stream's warming influence, would face skyrocketing heating costs. Power grids would be pushed to their limits and governments would have to scramble to keep homes warm and businesses running. Renewable energy sources like wind and solar might not be able to keep up with the sudden surge in demand, especially during the darker, colder months. Fossil fuels could make a comeback, but at what environmental cost? The energy crisis would leave policymakers with tough choices and citizens with higher bills. It's not just heating that would take a hit. Harsh winters could make roads and railways impassable, throwing transportation into chaos. 
Snow and ice would make driving hazardous, delay shipments, and disrupt the daily commutes of millions. Imagine the logistical nightmare of trying to move goods or keep essential services running in a deep freeze. Europe's agriculture thrives on its temperate climate and long growing seasons. A stalled Gulf Stream would upend this balance. Crops like fruits, vegetables, and grains that need warmer temperatures could struggle to survive. Farmers would have to contend with shorter growing seasons and unpredictable weather patterns. Planting and harvesting cycles would be disrupted, leading to smaller yields and higher food prices. Countries that once exported agricultural products might have to rely more on imports, straining economies, and food security. It's not just land-based food systems that would suffer. The Gulf Stream is crucial for marine ecosystems, circulating nutrients that sustain fish populations. Without it, marine life across the Atlantic would be thrown into disarray. Fishing industries in countries like Norway, Iceland and the UK would face severe challenges. Fewer fish, disrupted migration patterns, and collapsing ecosystems could devastate communities that rely on the sea for their livelihoods. Europe isn't the only region that would feel the pain. A halted Gulf Stream would send shockwaves through global markets. Energy prices would rise, food exports would shrink, and supply chains would be disrupted. The interconnectedness of today's world means that what happens in Europe wouldn't stay in Europe. Storms, droughts, and more. If the Gulf Stream stalls, you're looking at worldwide chaos. Intensified hurricanes. The Atlantic's warm waters fuel hurricanes. Without the Gulf Stream to help balance ocean temperatures, storms along the US East Coast and in the Caribbean could grow more intense and destructive. Regions in West Africa might see their rainy seasons disrupted, threatening crops and water supplies. A weaker Gulf Stream could accelerate Arctic ice loss, further compounding global warming and its effects on sea levels. Can we stop it? Here's the big question. Is the Gulf Stream doomed, or can we save it? Scientists have been tracking its weakening over the past few decades, if it does stall, it's likely to happen gradually, giving humanity a chance to adapt and mitigate the fallout. But adaptation isn't enough. The Gulf Stream's weakening is tied to climate change. Reducing greenhouse gas emissions, protecting critical ecosystems like the Amazon and Arctic, and shifting to renewable energy aren't just feel-good goals. They're essential steps to keeping the Gulf Stream flowing. The Gulf Stream might seem like just an ocean current, but it's so much more. It's a lifeline for Europe's mild climate, a stabilizer of global weather, and a critical piece of Earth's delicate climate puzzle. If it stops, the world as we know it could change forever. Coasts swallowed, storms amplified, and agriculture thrown into chaos. This isn't a distant sci-fi scenario. It's a real possibility in our warming world. Thanks for watching. Please like the video, press the subscribe button, and also drop your thoughts in the comment section.